After grabbing the spider, be careful of its venomous bite. While false widow's venom can make you sick if you're allergic, like my dad, instead of squashing it or using pesticides, we can try feeding it to our slowest flytrap. Yet since this plant is incredibly slow and has never eaten before, we can't just shove the spider into the trap. It's better to leave it alone, hoping it gets drunk on the nectar, as they often do. However, after half an hour, the spider gets comfortable and and tries to crawl away, so I carefully put it back on the plant, only for it to run straight through the trap. With only one trap left, and realizing that she's not interested in nectar because it's winter, we need the plant to catch her before she crawls out. But just as the trap begins to curl, she slips away. And although that was the plant's last trap, and we'll now have to wait until spring for it to grow more, at least we can feed this sneaky spider to one of our other slow eaters. Send this to someone slow.